Hi and welcome to Score Game. So up until yesterday I was plat 2 or maybe plat 3, I didn't really bother climbing this season, but since the season is going to end really soon, I said to myself it's time to get that master. I'm currently diamond 140 LP, 3 wins away from getting master for the third time. I have here the 5 decks I used in order to climb the ladder, but to be fair with you guys, I mostly used this 5th deck, the Gangplank Twisted Fate deck. I have a video on the channel in which I showcase all the other decks except the Shen Fiora one. So go check them out if you are interested in any of the decks because in this video I am only going to use the Gangplank Twisted Fate deck in order to get my final 3 wins. As usual we have the deck code in the description, let's get that master. So we're playing versus HC Johnny, that's a really annoying deck. That's a really annoying deck to play against. I'm actually not gonna keep anything. Maybe the Noxian Fervor to kill Ash, but nah. And sadly we don't attack on the first turn. Okay, at least he didn't get the Omen Hawk. Gonna attack here. I hope he doesn't kill it. Well, he can't really kill it. With, with, maybe with a Calling Strike, but... That's bad. He's okay, just gonna skip. I'm not gonna use a Make It Rain. Come on, play another unit. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You might just surrender it. You might just surrender it. Okay, never mind. I didn't expect him to have that. Because that deck usually doesn't play that. I guess this is this different version. But it's still fine. I really want to play Twisted Fate here, but... Hmm. Do I just play Twisted Fate? Uh... Never lost a fair game. Let's see if he has like uh, an elixir of iron or something. Or maybe this deck doesn't play elixir of iron anymore. Who knows? Ash. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna take with this that fee here. He's not gonna block because. He will, he will think that I have a, a way to kill Ash if this fate connects with Ash here. So he doesn't want to take that uh, risk. Him just attacking here is really nice for me. I'm not gonna block. Because now I can play Gangplank and I don't have to worry about the barrel being, uh, being destroyed by Ash. Yeah, let's see what is he gonna play. Only the finest. The Trifarian, that's pretty bad. He, he didn't have the Varus and Health Guard. Hmm. Do I just attack? Do I play the Yordle Grifter? Let him play out. I think I'm just gonna attack with Gangplank. Oh my god, he has another Ash. Oh, he's just trading Ash. That's really nice for me. Okay, one more turn. Level Gangplank if we get another one. 
don't really need Gingplank to win with the hand we have. We have Riptide Rex, we have the Captain. And we have already to decimate. And he's on 12 health. And let me see, does this deck have heal? No, this deck doesn't have heal. So 3 decimates should be enough. I'm not greedy. My friends don't. I don't really have to worry that I'm gonna lose my my powder kicks because I have warding shot. Ride onward. Watch, learn. Ever consider a henching career? I don't have warning shot for Riptide Rex anymore. I can get another one maybe. But I don't know if I want to do that. What other thing I can do? I guess we can play the second Grifter. Nice. And we got a flash freeze, that's really nice as well. We should be able to win. Next turn. I mean, this deck doesn't have any answers to my uh, decimate. Doesn't have any heals. Yep, it's pretty much over. Okay, so we're playing against the Twisted Fate Swain deck, one of my other four decks. Uh, I guess we want the Grifter, of course we want the Butcher, do we want the Noxian Fervor? Yes we do. Okay, we're gonna play the Butcher and attack him. Uh, he didn't attack. He didn't attack. Maybe he's just waiting for me to play something. So it's kind of risky to play the deck hand here. Because he, if he's waiting for me to play something first, he's gonna destroy my battle for free. So I think it's better to just end around here. If he make it rains before I do, really nice. I guess we just stand around here. He's going for my barrel. Probably has make it rain and he's gonna use it now. And I'm gonna counter with my make it rain. Yep. And this way we still kill his guys. His make it rain doesn't do anything because my guys survive. So that's why I did it like that. I kind of lose my uh, death's hand. Well, it still does one damage, but. Oh, 
Oh my god, he has twisted fate. Unlucky. Unfortunate. I still think that was the correct play. Suppose you still want him dead. Not till you scream for mercy. It's really nice that I attack on the fifth turn. Keep up, keep up. He has three mana left. Bring them by their entrails. There goes his second make it rain. Oh, At least he only has 8 health left. I don't have board control. I have 2 extra mana. And this looks winnable. Because he doesn't have health. Not really what I wanted, but at least it's something. At least the allegiance triggered. I need more Okay, let's just destroy his barrel first. Oh, if he uses a spell. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted to see. That's not what I wanted to see. Why did he do that? He has Riptide Rex. And he's gonna play it next turn and he's gonna try to little me. I don't think I stopped that. I need my Noxion Fervor to end the game. Loyalty through conquest. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Oh, my God, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. If we manage to survive this turn, I think we win. And it looks like we're gonna manage. Looks like we won. I think we won. I'm pretty sure we won. I think we just play Riptide Rex here. And it's an unwinnable for him. Yeah. Game over. got the second yeah it's over just gonna attack he can't even block this and even if he blocks this I have to knock Shen Fervors ah, I didn't Shen emote
he were playing against the SC Joanny deck. Uh, what do we keep here? We don't keep the Decimate. Actually, the Decimate is really good. Because this deck doesn't have heals or ways to stop it. But I don't really want it in my starting hand. So I'm not gonna keep it. But I'm gonna keep everything else. Maybe I shouldn't keep the Yordle Grifter. Maybe I shouldn't have kept this. Okay, this guy got the Omen Hawk, of course. I also didn't get to attack on the first turn. Uh, if he has the Avorosan Sentry, it's really bad. Okay, let's see. Does he have the Avorosan Sentry? Yep, of course he has it. Then I'm not gonna attack anymore. At least I have two units that I can kill with a uh, make it rain. And we also hit his Nexus so we can level up Gingling. But we didn't manage to level up Gingling the first two turns, that's really bad. So here I think I'm just gonna attack. Before he plays anything. Actually, he's most likely gonna play Ash. He might play Avarosan Trapper, but I don't think he has it since he didn't play it last turn. Maybe he draw it. Okay, I'm gonna be greedy and play another unit before I attack. If he plays like Ash, he can't really block. Level uh, buffed Jerk. Okay, didn't expect that. Still gonna attack with everyone. Maybe it was better to just attack. I was kind of greedy. It's fine. At least I played uh, this guy instead of uh, the Yordle Grifter. That would have been bad. Ooh. Are you giving me buffed units? Thanks, friend. I guess we have to play the Grifter. I'm not greedy. My friends though. Okay. I hope he attacks with both oh, units. Out there! Nice. Say your farewells. They'll come for you, boys. This is going really good. Oh, and we got Gangplank, that's kind of huge. Yeah, we're just gonna play Gangplank here. Yeah, I don't think he can win anymore. I mean, he can win, of course, but... This game looks in my favor. From the savage cold. Meh. Through the coral. Really meh. But at least we level up Gingplink 100% next turn if he doesn't freeze here. Uh, that's sad. That's sad. But it's still fine. He has 12 health. We're almost at 8... Uh... Hmm... How can he stop this? The only way to stop this is if he uses another Calling Strike. Is he gonna use another Calling Strike on my barrel? Unlikely. Might.
Let's just go for another barrel. I think I'm actually gonna go for another barrel. Ah. Oh. I mean, he's, he has 8 health left. So one barrel means one extra damage. 100% with the warning shot. Oh my god, this is so over. For glory. You're mine. Yeah, I'm gonna attack first. Because this way, I had a chance to kill Sijuani here. So maybe my Riptide Rex goes deals more damage to his nexus and I also forced him to you know use some of his mana but I'm thinking of not using Riptide Rex and just going with Nox Noxian Fervor nah no, I think I have to use yeah I have to use Riptide Rex here These two are gonna die. I'm not really doing. Uh... Actually, I'm gonna do two damage to his next. I think. Yep. Yep. This looks over. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Yeah, let's pressure him with uh, the Mickey Drain. Oh my god, Mickey Drain actually didn't hit the Nexus. That's sad, but I still think we won. He cared about not losing Ash and he wasted his mana. So now there's no way he can stop this. Another win. One more win and we get Master. Nice. Your opponent surrendered. Deck is scary, but I think we have a really good starting hand. I'm not gonna keep the Grifter, I don't really want any of his cards. But I really like my starting hand. And we attack on the first turn, which is kind of huge. Since we got the Butcher. And now, hopefully, we win this one and get Master. Okay, I have to pass here. I can't play deck hand. I don't want to lose the barrel. Again, pass. I must get out of here. Do I block? Who's that you got there? Oh, I don't know if I want to use the dead sand. I, I'm just gonna pass. And let's see, I want him to play Kalista. If he plays Kalista, I would have killed the Kalista with dead sand instead of just killing a Bark Beast. 
Okay, now he plays Kalisto. Okay, so he most likely had Kalista last turn, but he didn't play it because he was afraid of my barrel. He's most likely gonna Vile Fist the barrel and then we're gonna Dead Sand and still kill Kalista and do 2 damage to his Nexus. If we use Dead Sand first and we react with the Noxian Fervor, we're gonna lose 1 extra damage on the Nexus, so I think I, I'm gonna do it like this. I could also just play Twisted Fate. Yep, there's the Vile Fist. Hopefully, he doesn't have a second one. If he has a second Wild Fist, I'm gonna be really sad. Yep, I read this guy like an open book. Okay, what do we want to do now? I guess we just play Gangplank. I think we won. That play pretty much won the game. really good if he doesn't attack and destroy my barrel and he grids and plays something else oh my god actually even if he destroys my barrel we can hit another barrel with a uh, barrel with uh, the deck hand and then with twisted fate oh wait hmm maybe we just stun the guy nah no, we don't stun him Maybe we just stun the guy actually, because if he has another Vile Fist, unlikely he has another Vile Fist, he, he needs to draw it, because he didn't have it earlier. Uh, if he has another Vile Fist, it's really bad here to just red card. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's yolo this. There we go. Come on buddy, just surrender and give me my master. Should I just take the damage? Or is it too risky? Is it too risky to take the damage? No, it's not too risky to take damage. I think I value my units more here, since I have 20 health. The <laughs> uh, Gameplank is gonna level up. Oh my god. Wait, he has 7, 10 mana. He might uh, do ruination here, so maybe I should just attack first. Uh, I just have to attack and risk it. And risk ruination. I think we won. I mean, yep, we won. Let's go, boys! Master for the third time. Ok guys, so after I recorded this video and I got master, I kept playing and I actually managed to get into top 150 on the European ladder. I am currently on the 125th position and I also changed my name in game as you can see here. 
My goal is to reach top 100 by the end of the season and try to qualify for the Chronicles of Targon tournament. But this is going to be the end for this video, thanks a lot for watching and for all the support. I don't know if I ever said this before in any of my previous Runeterra videos, but I really love you guys. You just watching my videos makes me really happy. You can expect a lot more Runeterra content on this channel, since I will play the game even more now that Ryan announced seasonal tournaments starting next season, and I'm really hyped to try and participate. Again, thanks a lot for the support. If you want to support me even more, smash that like button, as many things you want in the comments below. Subscribe and hit the bell for more decks and more Runeterra content. And I'll see you guys in the next expansion. Peace.